Hi, I'm Art Fireman and this is Projector Reviews TV. Today we're going to take a close look at three projection technologies, DLP, LCD, and Elcos, as well as provide examples of projectors that use each technology. This video series is based off of an in-depth article on our website written by Ron Jones, one of our bloggers and our technical expert on this same topic. But we figured we'd show you what we're talking about in a concise, more visually dynamic way, aka video. There are three main types of digital imaging technologies used in projectors. DLP, which stands for Digital Light Processing, LCD, which stands for Liquid Crystal Display, and ELCOS, which is Liquid Crystal on Silicon. We're going to give you a quick rundown on some of the features of each, but keep in mind that the following features are typical, but not necessarily universal. We'll go in alphabetical order, so we'll start with DLP projectors. All DLP projectors use a digital mirror device manufactured by Texas Instruments referred to as the DLP chip. We won't get uh, too much into how they differ technologically, you can read Ron's article for more on that, but know that there are two types of DLP projectors, those that are single chip DLPs and those which are three chip DLP or used three chip DLP technology. Single chip DLP projectors make up most of the DLP projectors sold today for business, education and home theater use. However, three chip DLP projectors are available for high end home theater and commercial applications, including digital cinema projectors. You know, the ones at your movie theater. Generally, three chip DLP projectors price at over $10,000, so you're not going to find one at Best Buy or Staples. The cost and capabilities of projectors using DLP technology span the full gamut from miniature portable projectors pocket and pico projectors using an LED light source and a single DMD chip such as Optima's PK320 which has an MSRP of under $400 up to those commercial three chip digital cinema projectors costing over hundred grand. Single chip DLP projectors have remained popular over the past decade and are generally offered good performance for a competitive price. When it comes to size, single chip DLPs rather than LCD or Elcos projectors are usually the smallest projectors as their technology is the only single chip one out there. Uh, more to the point, it's easier to make a small light engine with a single chip design. Finally, at the top of the performance and price scale for DLP projectors are those premium models using three chip technology. Generally, such three chip DLP projectors offer relatively high light output, thousands of lumens, and are suitable for use with larger screens and would be appropriate with most of the single chip home theater class projectors. Next up is LCD. Today, all projectors using LCD technology use three LCD micro display chips with one for each of the three primary colors, red, green, and blue. These are often referred to as three LCD projectors. Note that the LCD trade group is called the three LCD group. The LCD micro displays are transmissive in that light must pass through from the back of the display panel. This is similar to the LCD flat panel TVs, which use either an LED or fluorescent backlight located behind their transmissive display panels. In the past, LCD based projectors suffered from higher black levels and a lower contrast ratio as compared to the better DLP projectors. However, significant improvements both in LCD projection technology and techniques like dynamic irises in recent years has resulted in overall performance levels from today's better 3 LCD projectors being highly competitive with projectors within the same price range that employ the other competing projection technologies such as DLP or Elcos. In fact, the best bang for the buck is often LCD when it comes to black levels. They also offer better placement flexibility with longer range zoom lenses and lots of digital lens shift. Three LCD projectors frequently offer a winning combination of performance and a feature set that make them popular, especially in the mid-price range models, both for business, education, or home entertainment and home theater. Specifically in the business world and education world, three LCD projectors are dominant with LCD chip manufacturer Epson claiming the largest market share of the projectors. Finally, it's time to touch on Elcos projectors. There are several variations of Elcos technology in use today. Again, we won't go into the technical nitty gritty stuff too much, but know that the technology re, uh, results in Elcos projectors generally being noted for their smooth, film-like projected image. While images from Three LCD projectors may exhibit a bit more noticeable sort of the screen door effect when seen from particularly close viewing distances. Some projector manufacturers use their own trademark names to describe their variation of Elcos technology. JVC calls theirs Direct Drive Image Light Amplifier. 
In other words, DILA. Sony, you've heard of, they call theirs Silicon Extel Reflective Display, or SXRD. Epson has demonstrated a variation called LCD Reflective, although they have yet to launch their first projector using it. The current generation of Elko Space home theater projectors are generally being sold with street prices between $3,000 and $10,000 and offer native resolution of 1080p. However, Sony now offers a $25,000 true 4K Elkos projector, which is the best thing since sliced bread. Thanks to some tech advantages of Elkos, notably the less visible pixel structure, Elkos projectors also show up on the commercial side for specialty applications such as reproducing photography, showing medical images, which is a DICOM system, such as ultrasounds, x-rays, and MRIs. Canon is the dominant player in these typically more expensive than DLP or 3 LCD projectors, which serve the scientific, architecture, photographic, and other image critical specialties. What's next? We're going to take a more comparative look at these technologies. We'll break down what you can expect from each in terms of size, price point, image quality, brightness, audible noise, placement flexibility, and type of use. That video can be found on projectorreviews.com, of course, in the Projector Reviews TV section. Well, that's it for this one. I'm Art Fireman, and this is Projector Reviews TV. Thank you for watching.